love to take a deep breath and feel that fresh air feeling up my lungs, hitting me in the face because all these are like a synonym of freedom to me. That's why before we all have to lock down in our houses because of the coronavirus, I used to take a walk in the nearest park and just kill the time with me and my thoughts. All of a sudden, once I heard a bunch of kids screaming, and as the curious person I am, I decided to check out what was going on. For my surprise, these kids were obviously enjoying themselves. They were playing and having a great time. And no, I wasn't surprised because they weren't fighting. I was amazed at the thing that was putting those smiles on those children's faces. They were having the time of their lives by chasing some kittens while they were throwing rocks at them. After five seconds of being shocked, I decided to get close to them and ask them what they were doing. Honestly, I thought that they weren't going to turn around and they were just going to run away. I was wrong. They faced me and said, Hi, what are you doing? I asked them. We are just playing, they replied. Don't you know that you are scaring and hurting these kittens? I said, No, we are not. They said in the most offended tone I have ever heard in my life. We are just playing. And in, and in any case, these kittens end up a little bit hurt. It doesn't really matter. They are just animals. I never thought that a single sentence said by a six or seven year old might make me feel like I was choking. I had so many words to say, but no ways to say them. I was completely speechless. Then I explained to these kids that animals also have rights like us. And after they apologized, they went home. However, I stayed in this park and wondered what is the message that will even to the future generation? We may think that we're teaching them a bunch of important stuff, but are we really? In the future, there will be professionals who might not even know that the words of quality and equity exist. They might not know that you're supposed to treat everybody the way you would like to be treated. But hey, don't worry. They will know how to find X in equations. I have worked for an animal shelter since I was eight years old. First of all, because I love animals, and secondly, because it was an opportunity my mom offered me since I have never been allowed to have a pet at home. Not really because my family doesn't like animals, but because they have always believed that I'm not the best person to take care of another being 24-7. And sadly, they are right with that. In this place, I have seen and lived some of the most beautiful things such as animals helping each other and also horrible things that together with the good experiences have marked my life. The incident with the kids and the kittens wasn't the first time I saw animals being mistreated. It was the first time I saw such a small kids mistreating animals. I have seen dogs and cats being tied to a tree or to a stick for almost all their lives to start. Once, the shelter workers together with a group of veterinarians worked for around eight hours straight trying to save the life of a dog who had been hit multiple times with a baseball bat because it was looking for food in a garbage can. And, I'm, and I am quite sure, I even dare to say that I am 100% sure that the, that the person responsible for that heinous act did not suffer any consequence. Why? Because even though in my country, Guatemala, there exists a law against animal abuse, 87% of the complaints filed have not been prosecuted, much less investigated. All this led me to the conclusion that if the people who are out there mistreating animals don't get any punishment, it's the same as if the law did not exist. Be basically, everybody can do whatever they want with these animals without suffering any consequence. And if you think that these acts aren't a big deal or that this doesn't happen every time, let me talk about the wider picture. Today, around 1 million vertebrate animals live in captivity worldwide, and around 90% of these suffer from mistreatment. Animals in laboratories, factory farms, amusement parks, zoos, aquariums, rodeos, circuses, all of it are routinely beaten. They are denied every natural to them. They are isolated, burned, electrocuted, blinded, and even brain damaged. They are left to linger in cold cages without any painkillers on their tail to them. And all, of, and all of these that I have already mentioned are, are shown in the internet. They are images, but I decided not to show them because they are quite difficult to watch. Now we 
you have to stay here and let our brains persist that this is the way billions of animals live their lives until their bodies can handle the rhythm of their lives anymore. And all of these acts are in penalties. Let's think a minute and think how many rights are we denying to these poor animals? Even such a small things such, such as the feeling of freedom that I mentioned before are denied to them. And all these acts and numbers that I have already mentioned leave something inside of you as they did with me. So now we wonder, what can I do? Or I wish I could do something, but in my city or in my country, no marches and protests for saving animals are organized. Well, you are not alone in that. In my country, these marches and protests are also greatly organized. But let me ask you something. Why do we have to wait for someone to organize this for us? if we also have our voice to raise. A movement, a revolution, begins with an idea. A truth in ourselves that we can deny anymore and we feel compelled to spread it regardless of what might happen to us. It's true that taking action and joining marches for animal abuse might turn people against us. People might think that we have gone crazy or that we are fighting for something pointless. But let me tell you, it is worth it. It is worth it. The feeling of rejection you might feel is nothing compared to the feeling of satisfaction that you will feel when you give these animals a voice. These animals are created of pain, loneliness, and torture. Voices and screams that are begging to be heard, that are begging to be recognized, but for the society, they are just whispers that everybody ignores. Fortunately, there is people like you and me. We can be the animals of speakers if we choose to be. All is up to you. Lily Tomlin once said, somebody should do something about that. And I only have one answer for that. We are somebody. Thank you.